What's up my tubes? It is Friday morning, August 19th, and uh, I'm actually just getting ready for the gym here. I wanted to go over uh, the Axe and Sledge stack that I'm taking right now, pre-workout. So um, in my little 32 ounce jug here, uh, I got a scoop of the grind, which is the EAAs. We got a Demo Day Big Cherry. And then for my pre-workout, I'm doing five capsules of the pumpies, which is like a pump formula, non-stim, and then ignition, one scoop. The caffeine dose is 150 milligrams in here, so you can do one scoop, two scoops, whatever, I'm just doing one. It literally tastes like a cherry popsicle. It's crazy. I say cherry popsicle because I'm from Canada, and that's, we didn't have icy, like the, you know, just like uh, you guys don't have like blue fish. Now, this reminds me as a kid, old school 7-Eleven Slurpee. Oh, cool. Yeah, used to ride my bike. Did you really? We're going way back, yeah. <laughs> Baseball cards and a Slurpee. Babe, can, can we show a photo of you, your basketball pick? Fuck, cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, I also wanted to let you know, I'm really excited about this. Um, the Dippin' Dot Strawberry is in stock now on Axe and Sledge. Insane. So good. It's so good. And make sure you use my code Missy. Support your favorite fitness athlete, right? Farm <laughs> fit. That's the whey protein, right? Uh, and whey isolate. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, fast digesting. It's got probiotics in it. Um, 22 grams of protein per scoop. Zero fat. A couple carbs in there. Um, it's perfect. So uh, again, guys, leave me a DM or shoot me an email if you guys get this stuff. I, I can't believe my DMs are exploding with the amount of people like who are supporting me. So love you guys. Thank you so much. You see every order. I literally see every order. Yeah, which and is I, awesome. I mean, obviously, it's a big deal. It's yeah. a new company. Yeah. So, and I think YouTube has more impact than Instagram. Yeah, my. my so our team. little YouTube, <laughs> little ass YouTube. Yeah. Compared to big ass Instagram, mm. I think Instagram's just become like a. Everybody's got a fucking code. It's just too much now. Yeah, um, and I also find that like my photos like aren't being seen by people, which no. whatever it's. It is what it is. Instagram's changing, but the 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 tubes, the supporters, my loyal really like think, people, yeah, yeah, yeah. man, always commenting, and it's uh, it's 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 a pretty awesome feeling, yeah. you know. So you guys are making an impact. Yeah, I mean, this is this is Missy's career. So if we're all pulling for Missy, this is the way to support Missy, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks, I've, I've guys. done my couple orders of Axe and Sleds. <laughs> Code Missy, I'm on. I'm on it. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, but we're gonna hit up some legs today, and then tomorrow um, we're gonna be going to Vegas in the morning. Uh, just the day trip there. Uh, so excited about that. And uh, yeah, diet's going really well. We've uh, upped the cardio here, and I've lowered the food a bit. And yeah, things are rolling. Starting to see progress. Like every week now scales going down so yeah it's a good feeling and feeling super motivated 17 weeks out officially as of today so 17 weeks friday i will be competing at the olympia it's weird how like obsessive i get in my head with this stuff like you see obviously see like the little whiteboard right there um but and i'm also doing it a little differently i'm showing the amount of weeks and like the days so like tomorrow would be 16 weeks, six days out, like that kind of thing, instead of seeing numbers, because in my mind, the numbers like 120 something days out, it does, it's not resonating with me anymore. I feel like the bigger picture and like how I see my physique, the weeks are, is, is what's gonna matter right now. Um, and then Matt and I talk about like little goals every week, like what I'm gonna do, so. Week 14, like I want to be finished completely with my music. Um, say like week 10, the routine needs to be finished. I need to be practicing it. So yeah, just like little goals here and there, right babe? Yep. Um, but anyways, we're gonna take you guys to the gym. We're hitting up some legs today. This leg workout for me, I'm not doing like any crazy con compound movements. I just more or less want to get like a, a sick pump today. So I'm gonna focus a little more on glutes and uh, we're gonna do some lunges and yeah it's gonna be a good one right yeah our last leg day was only three days ago so a little bit of a scheduling quirk yeah it's a quick turnaround so it's okay because we're going vegas tomorrow we got softball sunday 
Yeah. We could either wait and do legs on Monday, or we could rush it a little and do legs on Friday. Fuck it, you only live once. Yep. We're getting after it. We get it early, not <laughs> late. <laughs> We're sneaking yeah. in like a fifth workout for the week because uh, so we got a busy weekend. So yeah. let's get after it. Let's do it, babe. All right.
did something a little different today. Um, it was my rest day, so clean this morning, and then I decided to take Leo and Athena to the beach here. Leo's never been swimming before. I know Athena doesn't really like the water anyway, so I didn't put her in deep, but Leo was loving it. He was swimming around. I'm thinking that maybe Athena would like it more if she had like a life jacket on, but who knows. So anyways, I will attach some clips here of Leo swimming around because it was really, really cute. <laughs> Good day, bub. Yeah, you're a good boy. <laughs> yep. Oh, good boy. Come on, Leo. Come on, Leo. Come on, bub. Come on. Come on, Leo. Good boy. There you go. Oh, good boy. Yeah. It's a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Come on, Athena. Come on, Mama. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> Come on. Good morning, guys. It's uh, pretty early here, like uh, 6 a.m. now. We are heading to Las Vegas. I wanted to show you real quick the meal I made. It's not like fancy or anything, but what's really, um, I think it's like a little tactic that I've learned is that you're laughing at me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so do you know what I'm gonna say? No, but you're acting like this is- Top secret. Yeah, like we're curing cancer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, if you guys eat out of like plastic Tupperware, it's like, you, you guys will know. When you put eggs in it, it tastes like the plastic, like it's the grossest taste ever, whatever, right? And you can't always put your stuff in glass because that's expensive, right? Because you just throw the glass away all the time. So what I've learned is if you put tin foil in, in the bottom of your Tupperware and then put your eggs in it and then you just close it up and put the lid on. So then when you get to the airport, it's still fairly warm. You get a little bit of like egg juice, which is kind of gross but at least it doesn't taste like, uh, mm. it tastes exactly like it's supposed to, eggs. It doesn't have that like plastic chemical -y whatever. So we're doing uh, six egg Monthly whites, one whole egg. Healthy. FDA cares about your wellness of hand sanitizer throughout the terminal, medical and grade cleaning, some, uh, disinfecting, and our heat and some constantly get all circulated all fresh, clean eggs. Fly well. And it just kind of like, it's like a little powder. So two Ezekiel toast, which is like 30 grams of carbs. And then half a cup of fruit. I like to mix it up variety because this isn't going to last. We'll probably get Ooh, that smells good. Oh my God, that smells good. What, the berries? The fruit, yeah. Mm. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you guys that meal book. We're gonna be heading to Vegas here soon. And uh, yeah, should be good. Take you guys along. There we go. Let's do this. Our uh, executive host guy is awesome. So I'm leaving him a tip at the front desk. He hooks us up. This guy's <laughs> amazing. Okay, so we had a fun little day trip to Vegas here. Um, I got my Dunkin' Donuts coffee, <laughs> and then cashed out. Cashed out. Yeah. So I'll, some, some, yeah. yeah. Big it's all good. It's funny because like the comments on like YouTube and um, Instagram are always like, "Matt, teach us how to sports bet," and I know you want to like stay away oh, from that, but I'm putting you on the spot. Wee. Uh, so this, uh, so it's like investing. Oh, this will be quick because this is a fitness podcast. Um, and I, we get off on these other tangents, but it's, uh, it's like investing where I'm very process oriented. So just think about, I can't get on here and say, Hey, take team X over team Y. Cause if team X wins, the person takes all the credit. If team X loses, they blame me. So I can't get the stock, <laughs> stock tips as well. So from a process point though, the mistake people make when they're gambling, this is why casinos make so much money. If you, let's just say it's a 50-50 bet. I'm making the math easy here. 
But what people do is they win, then they bet bigger. Then they bet bigger. They get on a hot streak. They keep betting bigger, bigger, bigger. The casino, statistically, you're going to lose at some point. They lose their whole pot. So I'm the exact opposite. So just think about it in this. You can put your odds in your favor. Just to, you know, there's, you can, it's more complicated than this. There's parlays, money lines, teasers. Sports gambling has a lot of other facets. But just for the sake of this, an NFL game, it's 50-50, right? You pick a point spread, you pick one side or the other. If you have a pot, let's say it's $10,000, and you bet $50 on a game. If you win, put 50 in your pocket, bet 50 again. If you lose, bet 100. If you lose again, you bet 200. 200, yeah. If you bet or lose again, you bet 400. You'd have to lose, you know, eight, nine, ten times, someone do the math for me, if you had a big enough pot. Now, this is called, uh, there's, there's statisticians that say this does not work. It works for me because I'm very disciplined. Of course, you want to try to be better than 50-50. Uh, that, that's one way it gets in your favor. I, and I think there are people that know sports better than me, but who aren't good at sports gambling. And it's because they don't have the discipline. Mm. So you just have to remember, you have to stick to that strategy. Um, and I, I believe that over time it works. So statistic, you're thinking, how do I put the percentages in my favor uh, instead of the percentages always being in the casino favor? I'm always looking for ways. Um, now, you can arbitrage, I won't get into all that. There's other ways that you can successfully sports bet, but that's the biggest one. Just start, don't lose more than what you can afford. That's the other big thing. We have bet in Vegas at times like absurd amounts of money on a sports bet. It's crazy. This isn't our mortgage, right? I, we got that money elsewhere. I built this from really small from going to Vegas. It's years we've been doing this. It's fun. Um, so now if people saw the amounts I'm betting, they'd be like, my God, you're a fucking lunatic. No, I separate. <laughs> I separate it. Yeah. There's our smart, responsible money that's in like stocks that are paying us a nice dividend. We got our house. We got our rental condo, none of that stuff. Then we got this craziness over here. It's totally fun. Uh, we just happen to be winning uh, and that's cool. So anyway, uh, let's, let's get out of here. <laughs> so there you guys have it. Real quick, I'm gonna break it down for you. Um, so you if, if, you, if you have, just like regurgitating what you said. Okay, yeah. If you have a pot where you're starting off at $10,000, you bet a game, $50. You lose it, then you gotta bet 100. You don't have to, but that's yeah. just statistically yeah. how, how it would go. So you bet 100. If you lose that 100, then you bet 200. You always have to keep doubling it. Because if you bet, now you get to like, you're betting 1,600, right? But yeah. if you win that, you just, look, you just went one in five. Mm -hmm. It still came out positive money. Yeah. Where the other person just won five out of six. Yep. But because they were raising their bet every time they lost. This is a fitness podcast. No more of this stuff. <laughs> All right, guys. I just want to update you a little bit on my prep and what I've been doing, how the weeks are changing. I know, like, my last series, um, I was pretty vague about what I'm doing, but I think I just want to be, like, super open with you guys. So... Um, this is my last meal here. I'm doing uh, four ounces of filet mignon, and then we got five ounces of air fried potatoes right there with uh, sugar-free ketchup. And then obviously like I salt my meals and everything. Um, this week, Shelby increased my cardio. So I'm doing two sessions of HIT and then, um, and then uh, low steady impact low interval steady <laughs> why can't i talk low intensity the other days you mean yes yeah. low intensity steady state right. wow tongue twister right. i'm not even going to edit this out because i'm so no, maybe my it. edibles kicked yeah we haven't got to that yet <laughs> yeah <laughs> um it's so the thc talking <laughs> now you guys know why i'm all giggly you know um so Come about eight o'clock we laugh at everything True, yeah. And it is related, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we get shoot. real, we're, we become like real funny at eight o'clock, but only to each other. Yeah, for real. Yeah, we probably shouldn't make a habit of recording <laughs> post eight, but whatever, here we go. And 
the, that's the other thing, guys. I want to be super transparent. Like, um, so marijuana is legal in the state of Washington. And after whatever, two years, I finally feel comfortable uh, talking about it. And I'm super happy to be partnering up with Inspire. Um, Matt and I have actually been a customer for a very long time, correct? Yeah. yeah. And we had been chatting and we're now working together. So I have a code with them, it's Missy. And I'm not a doctor, I'm just letting you know what I recommend um, and w what I've done for myself. So when I started- this is, this is also coming from like the world's biggest squares. Yeah. Like we, we've never smoked a joint. I've never smoked a cigarette, a joint, yeah, never. nothing. Yeah, so we are way, we, we almost, so we're not giving advice. No. We're just sharing what works, like right. otherworldly well for us. Yes, yeah. yeah. So the big thing for me is like recovery. How can I optimize my recovery? Um, and it was through edibles. Um, I've been taking edibles for the last like two years and I started with half, half a gummy. Now they're like little chewies, right? I would start with half and then I worked up to one square. Um, when I'm like deep in a prep, like two weeks out from a show, I increase it a little bit. But the biggest thing guys is don't start taking like edibles or like um, some people do shots of vodka before their show and stuff. You can't mix them. Do not mix them. I've done that before and I've totally ruined a prep and Ross actually yeah. talked about it too. Yeah. Ross from Flavor Gang. Well, only, he, yeah, only, you, you gotta keep doing what you've been doing. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, but if, you know, I mean, it, sometimes if you take too much, you can go overboard and then you totally ruin your look. But anyways, I, I do really like edibles at nighttime. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below or shoot me a DM on Instagram about it. Uh, my code is Missy. So make sure you guys support me there. Um, what else have changed in my prep? Oh, softball is we have playoffs next weekend and then I'm completely finished. I don't have to worry about getting hurt. Not that I like am worried or anything, but there's we always- survived. Yeah, there's <laughs> always that- um, Knock on wood. Yeah, knock on wood. There's always that little bit of like scare when I do things outside of bodybuilding and fitness. Um, and I'm super dramatic. So like if the ball like hits me or whatever, I fall on the ground. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> but your legs were legit jacked too. Today? Uh, yeah. So oh, Missy's, the, Missy's the catcher and I'm the pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> so it, this is like just real casual co-ed softball but yeah your legs were jacked thanks yeah the diet's kicking in mm. yeah mm -hmm. the quads are going to be another level because that was that's one of your better body parts i'm going to show the abs right quads now. and shoulders all right 17 weeks out abs christmas pjs your mom and dad oh, yeah. sexy sexy <laughs> I'm, I'm pulling up my boobs but who cares yeah guys six come on yeah, the no. abs. The abs are gonna be. Uh, mm. Yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming. Um. Yeah. So. You're like ten pounds off your off season high already. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think you were. Yeah, I mean that's pretty. Almost ten. Not quite, but almost ten pounds down already. Yeah. Um. I think tomorrow I'm gonna hit a new low because usually today is my refeed cheat day. Um. After softball, Shelby cut the cheat meals, so we're sixteen. 16 weeks out, five days. Wow. 16 weeks, five days out. <laughs> Can't talk. Yeah, I think you're in a good spot and your body's cooperating. Yeah. As soon as you wanted to start losing weight, pounds started coming off. So you and Shelby are locked in. Yeah. I, uh, I also want to touch on this real quick, babe. The Arnold put out um, their 2023 schedule and this is the first year that they've gotten rid of figure. Figure is not gonna be at the Arnold 2023. I feel terrible for these women. Um, a lot of these women who compete in figure use the Arnold to get points to qualify for Olympia. They use the Arnold to um, for the prize money. I it's mean, one it's, of the few shows that pays a lot. Right, yeah. yeah. Relative to the other small ones. Yeah, and yeah. there was a statement that came out about the Arnold not being 
like competitive, um, as competitive this year. I mean, the champion, the girl who won figure at the Arnold and Olympia was at the Arnold last year. So like, how is it not a stacked class? You know, we had the Olympian champion there, figure Olympia champion. Yeah. Um, and then there was a bunch of other girls, like one of my friends, Boyana, um, uh, who else was there? Who else was at the Arnold? Nicole, World of Zebion. Yeah. Like t top Olympian chicks. I don't know. I feel bad for these girls. I think there were six Olympians at last year's Arnold. Yeah. And it's an invite. So if... They could have whoever they want. Right. Exactly. They can make it stacked. Right. I shouldn't complain because fitness is still there. Um, and I'm thankful for that. Uh, it's too bad though. It is. It is too bad. Yeah. But... Because they... But, kind of shooting themselves in the foot. Well, like, why are we doing, like, slap boxing over a figure when it's, like, Arnold, who's a bodybuilder? Like, I don't know. I don't understand. I, I Well, they don't have women's bodybuilding. They, they don't have women's physique. No, yes. And oh, they, my God, that's yeah. been caught. That, that's been a couple years running. Right. And now they don't have figure. So that I, right. I think, should we be speculating? I just don't think someone in that head high up at Arnold mm -hmm. likes muscular women. Kinda, yeah, kind of I mean, seems, seems like to be that, the case. Right? And then they shouldn't have come out and said, they should, shoot, they should just say that. Yeah. Or don't say anything. Or say, we're a business and we can have whoever we want. Right. I mean, right? Like, mm -hmm. this is what we want to do. But to come out and say, we cut it because it wasn't a competitive class, mm -hmm. we had six of the top girls there last right. year. It was fucking stacked. And the pinnacle of figure was there. Right. The so. all time greatest figure out there. Like the four time, five time, I don't know how many right. times. Freaking Olympia champ. Right. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Um, so I, if you guys care what I think, I think there should be the top eight in every division. Men's two, obviously the men's open have an array of guys, right? Like no, no cap on that. But women's bodybuilding, women's fitness, figure, women's physique, classic, men's physique, 212, have should have the top eight competitors go to the Arnold, like, cause it's invite only. So invite the top eight. There's, yeah. I don't think there's any reason we shouldn't have women's physique there. Women's physique, like Rachel is fucking amazing. Like yeah. her posing, the energy she brings. I mean, I bet her and I get the most guest performances out of a lot of people in the IFBB. For females. For females, yes, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but, man, it's such a shame. It's such a shame. So. I'm even like pro-capitalism. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, if a business doesn't want to invite someone, they shouldn't invite them. And even I'm like, wow, this seems like we're going backwards here. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, like, this is 2022. Right. We're cutting women's division. I, I don't know. I it know. seems it seems shitty. Uh, and I'm the last person. I am very pro, you know, do what you want to do. You're a business. It's your money. Invite who you want to invite. Yeah. This seems really stupid. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yeah, I agree. It's a shame. It is a shame. But uh, unfortunately, they've, you know, made a few. They're in a tough spot. You know, I think they got killed with COVID yes. two years in a row. Yeah. And I think more than other shows, Arnold is really was about the expo, mm -hmm. and expos are like a little shitty lately. Mm -hmm. So I think they're just trying to go other sports. Yeah, that makes sense. And if you do like slap boxing or whatever, they're not flying those people in. No. Right. Well, the top people, yeah, they would. The top slap boxers. Yeah. <laughs> I bet. World champion slap boxer. <laughs> Didn't you say, when I'm competing, I'm totally like zoned out. I don't know what the fuck is going on around me. But did you tell me that the slap boxing was before my prejudge last Arnold? No, I might have been. Um, I didn't see it. I saw... Um, Arm wrestle, something. It was with a stick, though. Oh. It was like something like I saw I've seen arm wrestling too. Okay. But then there was, was just waiting for, you know, the bodybuilding to come. Yeah. Then there was something where it was almost like you're manhandling each other with a stick. Pretty awesome. 
Oh, okay. I wouldn't pay to see it. <laughs> and if I wasn't, <laughs> if I wasn't sitting there, I probably wouldn't stop. Wait, you wouldn't pay to see guys manhandle their sticks? <laughs> <laughs> Man, <laughs> stick handling. <laughs> Expo stage at the Arnold. <laughs> See, we, there's, no one thinks this is funny, but we've had our edibles. <laughs> so we think we're fucking hilarious. No, um, no I mean, those things are interesting, but I mean, come on. Like, it's Arnold. Mm -hmm. You can't lose sight of you're a fucking bodybuilder. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um... Anyways, I just wanted to like give my opinion on the Arnold because do I need to make a statement? No, no, probably because the shit what no. I say, but yeah. I thought it was. It is know, messed up though. I yeah, agree. Yeah. Good to put it out there. Um, Cause you know, at some point, like if I ever get an injury, like that's my division, right? Figure is what I'm going into. So I'd like to figure to be at Arnold's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but. Uh, anything else for the, the prep update? No, it's going well. Yeah. Workouts are going well. Yep. Routine's going well. Mm -hmm. Got to stay injury free. Mm -hmm. Pedal on the gas. Yep. We uh, see Miguel next weekend. So we'll do a little bring you guys along there. Yep. And uh, yeah. And then we see him in Vegas in a couple weeks oh yes guys I'm going Matt and I are going to Vegas for longer than a day yeah we're gonna be there for two days um I won my big game yesterday by the way oh damn twos. you already knew this but uh, <laughs> oh twos. right yes because yeah. we talked about your strategy yeah yeah oh guys you're gonna love it yeah so yeah won it sick nice. yeah um that's awesome that's yeah. freaking awesome Just the hot streak continues yeah so then, yeah, we'll be going to Las Vegas again in two weeks, and then we'll train at Dragon's Lair. I haven't told Flex yet, but maybe I'll get on his podcast, or maybe him and I will train together again. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to that. Um, we were supposed to go on a shark diving trip this week. Actually, we were supposed to fly out um, tomorrow morning, and it got canceled because Guadalupe, where we go, um, it's like considered a national park in Mexico and for whatever reason the Mexican government has uh, like closed it down for the year probably because of COVID no but... no it was oh. shut last year because of COVID mm -hmm. this year I don't know some you know literally politics politics someone just has a stick up their butt yeah. so they think it's gonna it's going to like court and stuff but mm. they had to cancel the early part of the season right hopefully next year yeah, so we uh, got on the list for 2023, but guys, if you ever go shark diving, I mean, it's like the craziest experience ever. Like, it's it gives me anxiety thinking about it, like a good anxiety. A couple things give me anxiety. One, before I perform my fitness routine, at bat and softball. <laughs> <laughs> and, and diving with sharks. This diving with sharks, very yeah. uncorrelated. Totally, yeah. like, out of order, but yes. uh, yeah. yeah. Some things you just gotta like go in head first and like live for that adrenaline. I don't know why softball gives me that. I think it's because I suck at it, but, and people are watching, so I feel like. Sometimes we have these like really targeted, deep conversations about life strategy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a completely unorganized, <laughs> THC led, yeah, ramble fest. Yeah, we gotta shut this shit down. All right, yeah. It's a good it's week. Bedtime. Yeah. Eight o'clock, it's, o it's bedtime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Almost. Pretty much. Yeah. One more thing. One more thing, Tubes. The new Game of Thrones. Oh my God, it's on tonight. House of Dragons is on tonight. Fuck we, yes. Matt records the East Coast version, so we watch it in like non HD. That's six o'clock yeah. here. Yeah. And then at, like, we won't watch it tonight. And the, But then, um, we also watch the HD version. So we watch it twice. Um, we're losers. We're nerds. No, no. And I, it's not. I'm not I freaking own it. <laughs> I love it. And early on. A couple podcasts. Early, why are we still rambling? But early on in Game of Thrones, there were so many names. and how, I mean, after a oh. couple of years, you get it. But mm -hmm. early on, it's worth it to watch fucking twice. Yeah. Well, what I've heard of this, the Targaryens, uh -huh. they, they use like the same names for other people. I mean, like. 
like two characters with the same. I mean, it's crazy. So, well, I'm just saying it's worth we, rewatching. We might have to get our notebooks out when we watch. I'm just saying, you rewatch it. It's great. It's worth it. Yeah. The show is good enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm pumped. Me too. All right. All right, tubes. Love you guys. Thank you for supporting your favorite fitness athlete. Me! Miss you, Trust God! <laughs> All right, we'll catch you next week. Out.